Hey.
<laughs> Don't let them get away! This should work!
Mmm, thank you. <laughs> what the flip? Look, yes.
Church. Let's begin, shall we? I've gathered you all here to speak about our nation's banner, the cause we mean to unite under and to work toward together. Evan proposes that we create a country without war. I'd like to talk about the concrete measures we'll need to take in order for that to happen. First and foremost, we'll need to sign a treaty with the other major nations of the world, effectively forming a single united realm. 
we propose to call this treaty the Declaration of Interdependence. I've taken the liberty of drawing up a preliminary version. The Declaration will be our banner, the cause for which we fight. I like it! Ugh, but won't that dollar an idiot be trying to mess things up in other countries, like he did in Goldpool? We think that's highly likely, yes. But we can't worry about that right now. All we can do is visit each nation in turn and try to convince them to sign up. You're really thinking of doing this? You realize it's a fool's errand now, don't you? What do you mean? Sure, this plan of yours is a noble one and a fine banner for an up-and-coming kingdom to unite under. But you're about as likely to get all the nations of the world to sign your little pact as I am to grow a third blasted leg. Don't say that. We can't do this. Says the man who just strolled in from who knows where. Don't need to be putting these daft ideas in their heads. And what would you know about running a country, huh? Stop it! <sighs> I don't know if we can do this. But it doesn't matter. I want to do it anyway. You what now? I've realized something. Now that we've been to all these places and met all these people... I don't just want to do it for Nella. I want to do it for myself. For all of us. I really do want to make a world where everyone can be happy. And I don't care if we might not succeed. That's no reason to give up. That's right. Of course. It won't be easy getting all of the countries of the world to sign our agreement. But if there's even a chance of success, I have to try. And I'll need all of your help to do it. <sighs> How can a man say no to such a speech, lad? I'm with you, Your Majesty. Come. Better start with an easy one first, huh? I reckon gold pole sign up, man. Yeah, provided Pugnacious isn't the grudge bearing type. Good. Then it's decided. We will unify the world. Just as Ferdinand once did. Hmm. 
Ja. Hello there. Greetings. guide us in the matter of this union. An odd number will show us that you deem it wise. Nations be joined for the sake of the world. Let the banners of war ne'er again be unfurled. United, United we stand as one single land. So Evelyn's friends. <laughs> <laughs> 
unfurled the Declaration of Interdependence, the banner under which they were trying to unite the world. Their first ally found, they set out to secure another, the maritime realm of Hydropolis. The Declaration of Interdependence, eh? Very impressive. Yes, I have Roland to thank for that. And Bodley, of course. Don't forget your own role in all this. Pugnacious signed the agreement because of you, because he trusts you. I suppose so. By the way, are there any girls you like? What? Where did that come from? Oh, I was just interested. I like everyone, all of my subjects. Hmm, well, it's good to have someone you can trust, that's all. Someone you can be completely honest with, no matter what. Just <laughs> something to bear in mind. See you soon. Oh, uh... Goodbye. Chapter 5, The Sea Queen's Curse Yeah. 